Yeah, you know, I guess like like one of the differences, I suppose, with tantric and like just like regular sex, one is intention. If I if I understand it correctly, you know, like part like someone's about uh, you have an intention, building up energy more, you know, to to a certain point, and then you release that energy, you sort of send it to that intention. Mm. Is that kind of what it is? That's kind of sex magic. It's um, related. I think tantric sex is really more about the connection between you and the other person mm -hmm. and facilitating that connection. So regular sex is like, let's each get to an orgasm. And we're like, mm, orgasm might get in the way of us continuing to, com uh, continuing to relate together, okay. pleasuring each other, being together. We're not just trying to get to this place and stop. We're trying to continue this communion that we're creating between us. Mm. That so in sex beautiful. magic, they are trying to take the uh, orgasm and focus it on higher consciousness or uh -huh. money or career success or more love, something like that. And some people would call that under the umbrella of Tantra. But I think Tantra in its really spiritual sense is more about if, if, if you're making love with your partner, how do you increase the intimacy, the mm -hmm. love, and the sense of this being a divine act instead of a naughty one? Mm. How do Which people is, how do people do that? You know, sometimes I like I've been in relationships like this where it's just hard to talk even talk about. You know, it was like there's this routine in that is not even talked about. Like how how do people move from something like that to where they're just experiencing each other? Well, the first thing that I uh suggest is people slow way down. Mm -hmm. You know, um, the average sex act in uh, the world is supposed to be 3.5 minutes. Ooh, I don't short. know where they get these statistics. That's really because, short. <laughs> well, that's how we would call reproductive sex. That's like <laughs> the purpose to make a baby and just to get off. And probably the woman doesn't. Then in the educated parts of the world, it's about 20 minutes. There's nothing wrong with 20 minute sex. Mm -hmm. But if you want to expand that and go for maybe an hour or tantric lovers can go for six or seven hours but let's just say you wanted to start by setting a time to maybe pleasure each other and make love for a full hour so a lot of times we'll do this on vacation you know we'll make that time yes okay we'll go go to the beach somewhere and make love all day but maybe this could be a practice that you set aside some time more frequently than that to just be together and slow down Mm -hmm. tantric lovers take their time and we want to be able to increase intimacy one of the um, exercises we do is we just gaze in each other's eyes that's hard to do something that i've always actually enjoyed yeah is looking in someone else's eyes but some a lot of people don't like it it kind of freaks them out well it, it's really intimate and so we do it in my workshops for like, uh, in my tantric dating workshops, we do it for a minute and some people can't, can't do that, which is wow. cute. Mm -hmm. And then when I was at the ashram, we used to do it 20 minutes, 30 minutes, and people would just be crying from the sheer beauty of looking into another person's soul. You know, it's like mm -hmm. the outside drops away and you see the, the heart inside, you see the divine person and you just can't help but fall in love with people when you really look in their eyes. Wow. So that's a tantric practice of really sitting and seeing, can we hold each other's gaze? I used to have some of my students try to do it for two minutes. They just couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> they just couldn't do it. And uh, I said, well, you know, you have to be able to just sit and not have to do anything with your lover. If you want to start making love in a more conscious way, you don't have to be doing, 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 doing all the time. We can just be together in a tantric fashion of receiving just being together and not mm. having to do all these things we've been taught to turn each other on. We can do those things, but we don't have to. We can also just relax in each other's presence. Naked, it kind of takes vulnerable. some of the stress out of it. It takes a lot of stress out. So it, just imagine sex without stress. You know, sex for most people is actually very stressful because they're trying to um, trying to have an orgasm or not orgasm or orgasm together, or is what I'm doing the right touch or is this not the right touch? Uh, everybody's trying to be really uh, let the, have the other person think that they're really good in bed. This mm -hmm. is all very stressful for people. 
Yeah. So we watch porn or we watch instructional videos trying to learn sex techniques. And those things can be helpful, but then sex becomes very mental. We're thinking while we're making love, we're thinking, should I do this touch? Should I do this? Do they like this? And sex becomes all in the head instead of in the body. Mm. So Tantra is about the body is sacred. So I'm going to learn. It's actually a discipline. I'm going to start learning how to be more in my body and then make love from that place instead of from my mind. Most of our consciousness is cut off right here at the head because we're taught in, to look. You know, we spend all our time looking at social media, looking yeah. at screens, looking, checking, judging. Uh, even when we're looking for love, we're looking and swiping and judging, which is not a very loving attitude if you think about it. <laughs> and then that, <laughs> that then... Um, translates into when we make love we're just still in this frozen in this mode of looking seeing judging thinking instead of being able to relax be present look in each other's eyes and feel what it's like to be with that person instead of try to come real quickly 